Thank you so much for listening to us and going past your time. We appreciate it. Okay. Introduce yourself, please. And Thank you. My name is Abby Licatino, and I'm from Covington, Louisiana. I am here today to share some data that is public record but may not be well known. There seems to be some confusion when it comes to this data, and so I'd like to bring it to the forefront of discussion so that the confusion and misinformation that is out there right now can be cleared up. What I am going to discuss is VAERS, the Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System. This is a government-run database that collects adverse vaccine events as a means of post-market surveillance. This has been around since 1990 and is searchable. These reports are usually available four to six weeks after they have been received, so there is a lag with the data. Anyone can report to this system, a healthcare provider, an injured party, or even a parent or friend of the injured party. However, knowingly filing a false VAERS report is in violation of federal law and punishable by a fine or imprisonment. Healthcare providers are required to report to VAERS certain adverse events and other criteria. These criteria are clearly defined on the VAERS website. My question is, rhetorically, do the healthcare providers in Louisiana know about the VAERS system and how to report an adverse event to the system? When it comes to the COVID vaccines, or shots, this is an incredibly important information, especially since these products are under emergency use authorization and are still in their phase three trials. Without this information, there is no truly accurate account for adverse events and possible risks associated with these brand new products. I would like to look at the most recent VAERS numbers for the COVID vaccines nationwide and more specifically, Louisiana numbers. There are 10 categories that you can file a report under. I'm gonna focus on the main ones. As of last Friday, August 13th, the total number of deaths reported to the VAERS system nationwide were 12,791. The total number of incidents reports reported for all 10 categories to the nation were 633,458. Let's look at some of the Louisiana numbers. In Louisiana, as of last Friday, we have had 48 deaths reported to, to the data at, at the VAR system, 48. As one of your representatives said, do the decent thing and read each of these reports. These are individual people. As of Friday, we've had six miscarriages in the state of Louisiana reported to the VAR system. We've had 65 life-threatening reports for Louisiana. We've had 60 reports of permanent disabilities that they are now going to be required to pay for out of their own pocket because there's no liability for these products for the manufacturer. 224 hospitalizations reported since last, or since last Friday. 469 reports to the VAR system. I have just a few seconds. Total reports to the Louisiana um, for Louisiana, for the VAERS system, has been 3,794 reports. These are real people. They are not faking it, and they are under a, require, or a risk of fine or imprisonment by doing a false report. Now, before you say that the system is in inaccurate, I'd like to say that I agree with you. Unfortunately, this is the only post-market surveillance system that we have in place. However, according to Harvard, who was hired by the HHS to see how the VAERS system was doing and how accurately it was working, they discovered that only a fraction of the data was getting reported. They estimated that only 1% of the adverse events were being reported. 1%. How many adverse events are actually out there and what are the true risks of these products? I'd love to see the care that is given to the COVID tracking be actually go to the VAERS tracking as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No questions? I have no qu oh, oh, I do have a question. Excuse me. Yes, uh, Representative Cox. The question is, is what caused these, the, these incidents here? Were, were they because of the virus, because of the ag virus or the, or the vaccine or what? I didn't get it. So the VAERS is the Vaccine Adverse Reporting System, okay? It's okay. The, the government agency has set up this system to track vaccine injury. It's been out there since 1990 for all vaccines, okay? It's been there since the um, childhood. So, so, so answer my, my question is, is this because of the, the vaccine? Yes, 
These are injuries caused by the vaccine and they're being reported by medical professionals, individuals, and vaccine injured, and family members of the vaccine injured. And as we say, you know, I mean, I, we don't know the accuracy of this, right? It's, it's supposed to be checked by the government entity, entities, but there's no other system out there for this, you know, opportunity. Okay. I mean, medical professionals like Dr. Malone, who is the, um, who actually invented the technology, the mRNA vaccines, he has a great saying that the vaccines should be treated as guilty and have to be proven innocent because it's an experimental. I mean, that's how we do our people here is they're guilty until proven innocent, uh, but, but that's not the way it says well, it is. The vaccine should be that way, well, that way I mean, because they're you know, experimental. In this case, our vaccine is a, basically right now is a frontline defense. Frontline defense is preventative for health, See, and it's also the proven techniques of, of a vaccine is not a pre preventative. Or it's not a treatment. A treatment is actually like ivermectin or HCQ that have been proven that those actually will shorten hospital stays and severity. I have no more questions. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for that. And uh, again, we're not here to, this isn't a basketball game. We're not clapping. We're not yelling. Please keep that down. Uh, these people deserve the same rights, respect everybody else, or the ones that spoke earlier that you didn't clap for deserve that. If anyone needs information from VAERS, feel free to let me know. Please, please contact you. Yes, yes. ma'am. You know. Would you?